Hey guys, so today we got an app review. Um, it's called Biter Font. You can change your system fonts with this app. So what you want to do is go to City and download this. It is by Mod My Eye Repo. So you should already have it there. And then if you want some fonts, uh, it doesn't come with any fonts, so you have to download it separately. So if you get this source right here, repo dot ig 33 k I'll put it in the description or right there as annotation right there so um when you add that source you get all these packs and every pack has 12 11 or 10 fonts so let's go download one here you go all these fonts there may take a while This actually is taking a long time, but I just sped it up so it just looks like it was quick. And there's a couple more fonts to go. What? And there we go, we're almost done. It's preparing every font here. All right, reloading and. <sighs> What the? All right, we're done. All right, return to studio, and now you can just go to home screen. And what you want to do is open by the font. It should look, yeah, it should look like that. And here's the home screen. Help fact by the font dot com browse. And what you want to go do is go to basic and all the tabs you just downloaded are here you can preview it by clicking the blue arrow so I'm just gonna do back to the future 2002 what you want to do is click it and then they'll show you want to proceed if you proceed your device will respring yes and then is starting to apply and it will respring in a couple seconds there we go and it's done and it's totally different up there all the fonts for the names are different search iPod the keyboard is different why is this all the way down here uh, everything is different so um, even notes and other apps like Facebook 
everything is different now um there are advanced settings for this go to advanced um you want to change the dialer calculator to a different one you can and all these different ones you can pick different fonts or you can just restore original and this is version 1.3 it supports 4.0 up to 4.2.1 so that's pretty much it um, I hope you like this review of this app and please subscribe for more